for some reason i always thought i needed to love like christmas you know and so when i finally told myself it's okay you came out of the halloween (laughs) closet (laughs) and if you ain't fucking with this podcast and you're just a bitch ass trick Welcome back to another episode of Saving for the Pod, episode number, oh shit, I don't even, 45? 45, yeah. 45. Okay, we like MJ on the come yeah, bike. Is the, yeah, Is there right. any other famous 45s? So oh, Devin the, White on the, the Tampa 40, Bay Buccaneers. Who was Buccaneers. the 46th president? That's true. Obama? No, no, <laughs> oh. Trump. It's Trumpington. Oh. Trump. Trump. I was like, wait a minute. I was Trump. one off, though. <laughs> yeah. That's, yeah, but it's for a, me? a big one off. <laughs> For me, that's good because I'm like awful at history and the all worst that one off that you could have made. Like an FDT uh, podcast. Yeah, fuck Donald Trump for real. But anyways, uh, wait, we got to name it that. That's the official title now. Fuck Donald Trump. Yeah, the FDT right. podcast <laughs> or FDT. Okay, I could do that. But we got AJ in the building, Phil in the building, Tatiana in the building. What up? What up? And. Now that I'm saying it live on the podcast, it means it's true. You're just going to be the new honorary member of the pod. Not honorary, you just, you a new member of the pod. Me? Like, you on from here on out. So if we shouldn't have Phil's, you coming. If we oh, shouldn't have Maze, oh, you my, coming. Oh, oh. If it's on Zach's, no, I'm just playing. <laughs> I got, my heart got really warm inside until you <laughs> I said I had to leave the house. Wait, what? Just, like, I, have to leave the house. I just got what Phil was I saying. Just, <laughs> I feel like I always miss what Phil is saying live, uh, like his funny moments, and then I catch it on recording. So I'm proud of myself for catching it live this time. Yeah, you caught that. Um, but that means the podcast always has to be here if I'm on the pod. Because right. mm, no. I can't leave the house. No, can't do I'm, it. I'm like bubble boy. I'm bubble girl. Mm-hmm. Bubble girl. Yeah. Uh, so Phil just came back from another trip to the shy. How was this trip to the shy? I went home, bro. You know how I feel about those. Uh, I mean, I didn't well, call it's it. A, it's I a didn't, trip, but yeah, it ain't a vacation. I didn't, call, so I, didn't right. call, I didn't call it a vacation. But no, it was great, actually. What I do? Um, you don't count going home to see your family as vacation? Mm-mm. Wait, no. bro. I said you. I'm just not realizing. Have you said where you work before? The camera can't pick it up. No, but, no, but I that, was gonna bring it up. It. How oh, his that, that trip shit is, is nice. Bro, I thought that was like a thrift store pickup. Nah, <laughs> okay, your work, got your work got the drip, drip, bro. That shit. Is, I w- I want one. I'm pissed. Can I they have got one? Gear. Yeah, for real. Yeah, that shit is clean. Well, no, I want you to hook yeah, me up. Yeah, hook us up. I bro. got hooked up with this. Uh, My supervisor gave it to me from like. Okay, well, if your supervisor says, "Hey, I have some left over," think of I me, bro. I need one. I'm, I'm with y'all. I got you. Uh, y'all, y'all, my, y'all, my people. Yes, yeah, but yeah, no, that's no. how I got it because you can. I think that we all in. are now, huh? They owe me because they didn't give, like, give me a job. I switch from the gecko to y'all, man. The gecko, y'all, y'all, y'all help me out. That's true. What was it? The you. second part of the interview. I didn't get past the test. That's oh, you yeah. wasn't the only one, so it's all good. <laughs> Actually, I'm still waiting on my uh, bonus for getting some my homie hired. But that's a whole other story. But the trip was good, man. Um, where we go? We initially went home for my homeboy's wedding, and then they pushed it back. And so they actually ended up just just going to Cal- driving to California, getting eloped yeah. in San Diego, and took a road trip. So it was actually kind of dope how they did it. So did they like send out wedding invites, like Everything invitations? Official. That's crazy. So. Yeah. I mean, I feel like you kind of like me. Nothing's really going to piss you off. But were there mm-hmm. people that were like mad that they switched up? I don't know. Evoked? I think it was because of, it was because of COVID. Because initially oh, okay. it was supposed to be 2019. Yeah. And then when COVID shut down, they pushed it back to this year. And then I think they have people in their family that are high risk. So they just they just got tired of doing it. And it was just like, we just going to take a road trip. Okay, alone. that's just fair. Do it that way. Shoot, if it was pushed back once, like if something happened and we had to push our wedding back i'd be like we're getting eloped like <laughs> yeah. i'd be yeah they pushed back over twice yeah. um but yeah me and the homies wasn't mad like we don't care True. Well, we just they, want well, them to be happy you were also home it's not yeah. like you were like at a different city like you had shit I to mean, do too. that was the one that was going to be in san diego so i wouldn't have been mad if we booked yeah. the flight mm, booked the trip uh, to san diego and true. then they canceled i would have yeah. been like we still going to san diego so. yeah, but yeah, if yeah. it was in like toledo ohio i'd be pissed i would have just no, I got my money back that would have been cool i would have just canceled my flight and got my money back but um it was cool we uh what did me and danny do we um it was a meat trip so like usually uh-huh. the last uh, 
So a meat trip. A meat oh. trip. <laughs> well, I don't like how you, I don't like the voice you, or sound you made. What you thought I said? <laughs> Just like how you said meat pack one time and it sounded like meat pack. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> oh no, it, it was, was a, a so meat trip. Meat. Yeah. <laughs> it was a meat trip, meaning like the last couple of times we've been home, we've spent a lot of time with Danny's family. Gotcha. And one time we spent that exclusively because of COVID and her mom was like freaked out about it. It's like my family felt some type of way about it. So gotcha. this year, like this trip, we stayed with my aunt. And we pretty much just hung out with my family. We saw her family a lot too. We did both. Oh, Danny, Danny slid too. I didn't know Danny slid. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Phil posted a family picture. I did. They like. He looks pictures. like the son of the family. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you do. It's nuts. Phil look exactly like the pops. It's weird. Well, no, you got you got to explain it. You're not explaining it for people that don't know. Phil looks exactly like his girlfriend's dad. That's what oh. I just said. No, but like. There was there wasn't a lot of context like uh, people that obviously we all know but for the listeners uh, that yeah. don't I almost got confused yeah, Feel, yeah. like I when I'm ta- to, it's I crazy share similarities with my girlfriend's dad but it makes sense because girls generally date dudes that look like their dad <laughs> unfortunately yeah. it's called something I forget what it's called though yeah it's like a Freudian or yeah, something, something no like that. I think that has to do with sex I can't remember mm, maybe yeah. that's but the weather was great family's good everybody enjoyed the trip got to. Went downtown, got some good food, got to see Justin's new spot. Nice, um, nice. You know it's good, man. I actually was re- was really dope. Is this trip I got to see a lot of homeboys I haven't seen in years. <coughs> so I got to we had a dinner with my homeboy Justin and Danny and her brother and my uh, other friend from college. Haven't seen him in like ten years. Okay. Um, and then I went to a cigar night with a bunch of dudes I went to high school with, who now coach the um, youth football team okay. in, my, in my town. Yeah, yeah. And so that was good. Like it was a BYOB cigar lounge, so that was fun. And it was like, wait, a BYOB years. cigarette lounge? You cigar. Cigar. Oh. So BYOC. Yeah, bring your own cigar. Bro. Nah, bring your own bottles. And then you have to uh, buy the cigars. Oh. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Uh. So we had like <laughs> eight, six bottles in there. And it was we actually like really the, nice. The Toy Story. <laughs> <laughs> the, <laughs> the so, you know, Johansson came out. Black Rob was there. D was there. Black Rob's brother was there. My homie Earl. My brother was there. He was in town. Um, Danny was with us. The Johansson's wife was with us. It was a bunch of us. That sounds like a good time. Okay. It was a real good time. Okay. okay. Finished a cigar without puking. Really? First time, yeah. Wait, why do they make you puke? Like, in general, why do they make people puke? Um, It makes me puke because every time I've drank a cigar, I've been drunk. Every time you're drinking a cigar? Smoking a cigar. I've been <laughs> drunk. Because I was thinking about drinking. Yeah. yeah, usually I smoke cigars and I drink. So, I smoke smoking cigars, cigars and drinking makes you puke? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, because cigars are like eight cigarettes. Oh, I, I didn't know either. that either. Yeah. Hmm. But you're supposed to like not inhale them. Yeah, or cigarettes you're supposed, you're supposed to, like, to inhale. Puff them. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, you still so what's the point of Wait. It's just like I have you taste so many questions. I think it's like a taste. I don't so know. So you actually, you don't really inhale it like you would with like a cigarette or, or anything weed. else. But you, why? You take small puffs. So so it's just for show? No, like, it gives you a buzz. You're smoking it. You're just taking yeah. small puffs instead and, of like a giant inhale. And what is this buzz you get from it? Like I didn't know. Like, like do you like get a, a buzz from cigarettes too? Yeah. It's what? like a relaxing, like it's like a head. It's like um, like hookah. It's very similar to hookah. Well, it is hookah. Like hookah is cigarettes. Like it's Yeah, but it's different because it's stronger than hookah. And it's more like I just didn't know. Like I thought people like obviously people like that smoke cigarettes are addicted. Like they're addicted to the nicotine. Yeah. But I didn't know that when you smoked cigars and like hookah and all that stuff, it gave you like a buzz. I didn't yeah. know that. Happened. Yeah. yeah, cigars don't got nicotine in them though either. I think even oh? like chewing tobacco, from what I hear, like the the dip I, that from what I hear gives you a buzz too. I didn't yeah. know that. All that stuff does, but yeah. yeah. So they're cigars a little bit. More so why is it le- why they're driving under the influence when they yeah. have when they're smoking and they need to? I don't think it's get like pulled a, over. <laughs> I don't they're, think it's like drugs, yeah. Like, if you're being like, but it's not illegal. Yeah, to- I don't think they're like high high though. I think it's just like a, a tiny bit of a buzz, and that's really it. I'm mad. Because I should be able to do things under the influence of everyone else. <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, but, but that's crazy. I didn't know that. Anyways, so m- you know. moving on to Tatiana. Um, she's <laughs> back on the pod. We discussed you a little bit in the last podcast. I wouldn't know because I haven't listened yet. Yeah, I know. You're fucking a terrible new pod member and a terrible <laughs> supportive fiance. First of all. You left out the most important title. I am the manager. Yes. 
If, and, I mean, if you want to add things to why you're worse of a person, but feel free. if you're going to insult me, put some respect on it. All right. Anyways, so Gabe, myself and AJ, we were discussing spooky season um, mm. and it got brought up how one, it's your favorite holiday. Mm-hmm. Correct. Correct. And then two, we were talking about how you are a you are very easily scared yes just my presence in the house also startles you all the time zach cannot you the way i get scared so scared of zach around the house you would think that we just moved in yesterday zach will be just living his life not even creeping around the corner just like showing up just being there and i'm like oh you give me a fright i did this was the exact impression i did during the podcast was it not aj i did that exact thing yeah, well, <laughs> yeah. Yes. i get so you scared. startling yes. yeah like you'll just be living and i'm like oh my goodness yes i think you have like an ominous i present. said i that's said a creep that's why no maybe like that's it. like you're like doing this i said on the pod that it's your white side coming out and you just being scared of a black <gasps> dude being in the house i'm like subconsciously racist yes. what if that is it That's i have a prob- mental I mean, illness that probably is it yeah, obviously for real i have another mental illness to add on my <laughs> notch <laughs> another one i'm subconsciously that. racist Anyways. that white fright <laughs> for real that's, that's, that's exactly what it, that's what it's that called i white have white fright. fright that's what the name of the pod is gonna be white fright no <laughs> white fright. That's um that. so the people well the people probably don't want to know but we won't discuss it anyways what is your origin story why is halloween your favorite holiday what was halloween like for you as a jit so as a jit as you would say um well, when I was little, I feel like I always obviously liked Halloween because it was like fun. You got to dress up and everything. But I feel like I didn't truly love, love, love Halloween until for some reason I always thought I needed to love like Christmas, you know? Yeah. And so when I finally told myself it's okay you came out of the halloween yeah. closet <laughs> yeah. when i finally told myself it, hey it's okay that christmas isn't your favorite holiday it, it took me a really long time to accept that about myself <laughs> and, into loving and i and i really didn't learn to love it until like after high school i think it was, and i feel like people are gonna be like oh it's because you wanted to dress slutty like no like i want to dress up and like it's just fun Ooh might get a little deep it's just fun not being yourself <laughs> like, <laughs> oops, might get a little deep so but did you dress slutty yeah sometimes but it's just because i want to dress up all the time like i i did dress slutty because again an, another insecurity coming out i wanted to fit in so i would try like do what everyone else is doing but i would I never threw birthday parties, but I always wanted, if I ever wanted a birthday party, I wanted it to be a dress up party. Like, I just want to dress up all yeah. the time. Mm-hmm. So, why don't you get into cosplay? You know, I will. That I, might be next on her bucket list. That's she like loves, a thing, and then you won't be judged. Anime. Yeah, she yeah, loves get into anime. cosplay. If I'm dressing up this year, because I know Zach wants to do his, he brought up some, doing something with his best friend and oh I'll, we're not we were just bullshitting i don't oh, think we're actually doing because that because i was thinking if you were really going to do that then i was going to dress up as an anime character because i the reason why i haven't yet or haven't dressed up as like nerdy characters before because i always want to dress up with zach because i think cos- couples costumes are cute but i've heard all this before now <laughs> <laughs> but no like like yeah they're cute and i have someone to do that with yeah. but i also would want to dress like there's just not enough days i wish halloween was every day because i want to dress up as so many things yeah. and i just think that's fun mm-hmm. so on the flip side wh- how is halloween your favorite holiday but you hate scary stuff i don't know because i i and- don't like to go to haunted houses like if anyone ever drags me i'm going to cry and I'm so gonna, you would never go to Halloween Horror It nights. seems like she don't even really like Halloween. Nah, she, she just like cosplay. Right. <laughs> she yeah. just hasn't ex- let herself <laughs> accept it yet. Is, it's a Christmas all is, over again. <laughs> but this is the one holiday that I can do that. And like, right. it's socially acceptable. So like, obviously, like the one night a year I can be like, oh, 
my true self. Yeah. Right. I can so dress you up out of the Christmas closet yeah. and then went into the Halloween closet. Yeah. And but I also, like, oh, but I do like the witchy aesthetic of Halloween though. Like mm. if I could decorate, if it was like acceptable for our house to be decorated as like a witchy vibe all year round, I would do that. I think that's so cool and cute. Mm-hmm. But one, it's hard to find decor like that. Like I could only be able to decor shop either online or, um, or during Halloween season. Yeah. But two, it's also kind of hard to find like good decor that's like that because obviously Halloween decor is like cheap and shitty and stuff. So mm-hmm. I don't know. But I do like the spooky vibes too. So. A lot of this also makes sense, and we just found this out one before y'all got here, and then even with y'all being a little bit here, you told me that you're from a line of witches. That's what I've been told. (laughs) So what does that even mean? No wonder Halloween's her favorite. (laughs) (laughs) Is she Sabrina the Teenage Witch? (laughs) Yeah, for real. You always wanted a black cat. Well, I did. I owned a black cat. Yeah. His name was Binks off of uh thackeray binks off of hocus pocus and you got a husky and those are the cats of dogs <laughs> yeah, <for laughs> but real. he i also like him because he looks like a wolf and i think that's a majestic vibe yeah so if i can't have a cat i'm gonna have a wolf yeah like, obviously like a, yeah of course yeah like pff, what am i gonna have like a shih tzu <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, the yeah. Fuck? anyways and so i don't know everyone that's like been like claims to be clairvoyant or like really in tuned with spirit or whatever whether we've known them whether it's someone just walking down the street like anyone that has been around like my mom's side of the family they always mention that like we're a lineage of like a bunch of witches like everyone like whether it's so they said that to my grandma my mom uh jada me like they'll just be like oh you've come from a line of witches and i'm like cool <laughs> it's lit halloween and but my little sister is just getting into her witchy vibes She's is that why you were saying that you guys are weren't gonna have any boys either because it's just which line is this gonna continue no, no because my mom, mom doing like, my, the witch stuff it's yeah she was doing uh she was asking spirit questions with a pendulum and so you can ask it yes or no questions and your angel like gives you the answers so she was asking about me because i fun fact oh and witches are really in tuned like they're really intuitive Mm -hmm. and so i is i feel like i'm taking over the podcast no go ahead ahead. i'm getting self-conscious but when um like i just randomly for like i would say a few months now like i'll just be doing something like whether i'm like literally at my job working you just cast a spell no 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 no. (laughs) (laughs) just like whatever no i'll be working or doing whatever and then all of a sudden i'll I'll just like pop into my head i'll be like i'm having twin girls just like randomly like i'll like won't be thinking about babies or anything i'll just be like i'm having twin girls and so i brought that up to zach like what like maybe a month ago or something no it's been forever since we've been together (laughs) well i always said that i feel like i'm having twins so you're speaking into existence yeah that's no it but it it, so like like sometimes sometimes after you're done cleaning um does the mop start moving (laughs) <laughs> I, mean, I or, wish or the, does the room just start <laughs> levitating yo my life would be so much less stressful you put the room in the closet then if something I could the just be like, rattling ugh. this why harry potter your favorite movie huh yeah because uh, they're my people yeah so you fuck with jk Rowling's? no, no. <laughs> why? we don't stand her how you gonna fuck with harry potter but don't fuck with jk yes, Dave Chappelle because Chicago should be fun <sighs> I told you I wanted a silly goose. We were having a silly goose time. Anyways, I'm very intuitive, and my mom was asking it questions, and she asked if we were going to have twin girls, and it said yes. And it asked if we were going to have a boy, and it said no, which I'm very sad about. Yeah. Well, Well, it's fine. Anyways, moving on. Uh, Actually, Phil, do you want to talk about Halloween as a kid for you since we, me and AJ talked about it last pod with Gabe? Uh, what was Halloween like for me? It was straight. We uh when that Halloween was cool. My little brother's birthday on Halloween. Okay. Um, JB. Yeah, okay. JB's birthday's on Halloween. Um, what do we do? We went trick or treating. How exciting! We dressed up and we would uh we dressed up in full costume. Depend like not in high school we didn't. In yeah. high school we just kind of fucked around and just we would just go out and just get candy or we got you. take bags. 
But we it's take funny. it from kids our age, not little kids. I actually meant to send it to you and Gabe. I saw a tweet the other day. I think Drewski might have retweeted it, but it was the bloody mask that I, I brought yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. That's and it was right. like, hood niggas always had this on, like, just the mask and no no costume. Yeah, that definitely was me. had that mask. <laughs> that was oh, me. you were one mask. of those kids? Yep. See, you need to listen to this episode. How you not listen to your fiance? She runs and listens to everybody else's podcast. And First then of just... all, I don't. I've been listening to audiobooks lately. Okay, so... my bad. My bad. <laughs> Anyways, I, what I said on the podcast was growing up, my parents would always just buy me, like, bits and pieces of costumes <laughs> and not the entire set so a lot of time i'd have like a mask and we just have to wear normal clothes with, <laughs> <laughs> with the mask. they did not care about you they did it. They're, yeah. they're gonna think i'm crazy because when i have kids we're going all out we're yeah. gonna be dressing up as we're gonna have family themes yeah and we're i gonna... just feel like one for black people halloween is not a huge deal but it's then not. two especially for international people and caribbean people yeah. halloween's not a big deal at all i i guess that makes sense culturally yeah halloween's my, don't don't what i like about halloween every year is that the mike myers footwork video gets in yeah. rotation again. <laughs> yeah that's yeah. my favorite one yeah that, was that favorite. in the michael you look, yeah you look like michael <laughs> Mayer. <Mike, laughs> michael Mayer. oh yeah michael Mayer. <laughs> <laughs> what gets I me is his, he was walking so fast. Yeah. <laughs> like, he was speed walking. Yeah, like, yeah, you gotta yeah. slow down, my guy. Slow niggas down. in the hood don't play. <laughs> <laughs> it looked like Grandma Myers. <laughs> All right, anyways, so something that you sent us, Phil, was uh, it was an Instagram post asking how long sex should last. Yeah. It had like what, 15, 30, 45 yeah, 15, an hour? Yeah, 15, 20, 25, 40 in like an hour. Yeah. 45 in like an hour. So I'm glad that Tatiana oh is on this podcast as a women listener or a woman, woman, woman uh, pod woman. guest. Um, so for guys, I feel like we always trying to have it last as long as possible. And there are girls that do like long-lasting sex there are girls that i will admit that there are girls i am not one of them yeah not at all please Tatiana is like, wrap, wrap it, it up. up she's like that dave Chappelle episode wrap it up wrap it up so in your opinion how long should it last so are we counting foreplay yes that is part of sex i gotta think. oh i was even thinking that was part of it i thought <laughs> mm-hmm. it was just like Oh, um, so Phil, when when you sent that, you weren't even thinking foreplay was a part of it. No, part Just, of it. Twenty five to thirty minutes oh, for me. Yeah, yeah. If Wait, that's a, with foreplay included? Yeah, if I'm on vacation, oh. like I mean, with foreplay included. Uh, <laughs> if I'm, on, <laughs> I'm vacation. on vacation, but if I'm just at home, yeah, <laughs> if I'm on vacation, you get the forty five hour. <laughs> Well, Wait, if you oh you're saying if you okay if you're yeah, on vacation that's like the long, that's yeah, like yeah, the yeah. that's like the special. Oh, no, so you I, get extra for an you. hour is way so too wait, much, does bro. Does everyone count? Wait, hold on. Does everyone count? Um, I, yeah, I do. I do. I do. Oh, I didn't. Because I, I mean, how I'm, long should? I guess I'm the only one that, when I think of it, I never think that that's what people yeah. are saying or referring to. Yeah, because foreplay should take five each because person, and then you got I, 15 I minutes. They of only always talk about that. Literally, app. the only reason why I think that's because it's not like during for, foreplay I can do something else. Like yeah. I'm focusing on you during. Like, what do I look like? He's eating me out, and I'm just scrolling on like Instagram. <laughs> like I'm. This is. Yeah. We're in this. I feel yeah. like you get your five minutes each of foreplay, and then that's 15 to 20 minutes to do to do. Or yeah. you can stretch it out, and somebody can get 10, 10, and then five. You know? It just depends. Yeah. See. But that still doesn't equate to an hour even close. Like, I'm yeah. never doing an hour. I mean, I ha- I mean, I would stop and be like, I'm done. Yeah. Just get off of me. Finish up on your own because exactly. I'm not doing it. And my, and my like. An from- hour? From ages like 18 to 23, I was good for 45 every time. Yuck. Wait, say that whole thing again. 18 right? to 23, I was good Years for 45 old. minutes. Oh, okay. Got you. But now I'm just like, I'm, I like to be more efficient. Yeah. So 25 is like, I'm t- if I'm tired, maybe 20. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, if I I'm think tired, good is 25. Give me a quickie. There's no, if I'm tired. Well, according to you, I don't know what a quickie is. I don't have a quickie. The, one time you did a true quickie and that's when we were in bike club and I was gonna Like, I remember the day. Yeah, I probably busted fast by accident. Oh. 
<laughs> so then it, it wasn't into a, that. <laughs> no, but because we were. Um, mm, I was clapping cheeks, sleeping next to you. <laughs> no, I was. Hey, look, save it, it for was the in, after dark. It was <laughs> in the morning. I was getting like, going to go to work at Nick's. Yeah. And not a guy's house. The, place, <laughs> the, the, place. Mm, the <laughs> Italian <laughs> restaurant. Yeah. And so um, I was going to go to. Like, I was literally ready about to walk out, and he was like. You want to have sex? <laughs> I was like, it literally has to be a quick. I'm game. surprised you see. You were so much more fun in the beginning of the relationship. Yeah. <laughs> why? Why girls just get more boring they as get a relationship? Lazy as hell. Because it's we know what to expect. You know? That's not fair. Y'all expect you us switch to switch it up. Switch it up. Oh my god. And they don't ever be trying to make make the switch up. E- exactly. Just okay. Like, switch it up I do me. switch it up sometimes. It sounds good and when dandy to people and get I mistresses. Do something a little different. That's me switching it up. That's facts. But <laughs> sex was way more frequent in the beginning of the relationship. Yeah, one hundred percent. I'm not going to deny that. But maybe it's just you know how you get comfortable, like how you don't try as hard to keep me. I do. Mm. I do. Mm. I just think women get lazy. I think men also get lazy too. Yeah, well, I think we we're both lazy. Yeah, people just get comfortable. We don't even lazy. It's just like you, you could get... could I do better? Yeah, hundred percent. Could he do better? Yeah, hundred percent. But we're just we're compl- we're both complacent, and maybe we both could work on that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we should both be trying to woo each oh, other just... still. Look yeah. at this therapy session. <laughs> but I can but... promise you that I'm not going to work on that anytime soon. Oh, I'm, I'm sleepy. Mm. I'm being honest. All right. Well. Uh, oh, when you work on that, I'll work on cleaning the house more. <gasps> oh, hey, shots. Oh, how you do fired. It. That's how you do then it. Then you're going to be waiting a drop long the ball, time, drop my the guy. Ball, drop hey, the when, ball. My, when my balls get cleaned out, the house will get cleaned out. What's that London guy? That is, uh, that Tim, is Westwood. <laughs> Tim Westwood. I promise Tim Westwood. you, <laughs> this game of chicken, I will win the game of chicken. All right. You cool. think... You think I can go like I I either way I'm still cleaning the house either way you're not getting sex you can because you can go to AMP what's uh-huh. that Asian massage parlor <laughs> <laughs> yeah no, I learned that on key, Reddit I'll be my on uh, my Robert can Crash I admit shit. something you went to an Asian massage parlor no I wish I that mm-hmm. that's one of those is on my bucket list like I really want to do that one day <laughs> just have some oh, it's, yeah I've like a have a go to a massage but i want it to be like oh my god like like the black knowing. dudes on instagram like like a porn like oh my god i can't believe this is <laughs> happening like that is my fantasy oh i my really gosh. want that to happen you can find that if you want it just i know just i go could but hmm? go and rub maps rub map yeah that's a thing reddit is a dangerous place yeah. i, I went down reddit. to like i went down a rabbit i think uh, i heard about one day on the fighter and the kid rub maps yeah. i yeah i really really want that done we can make that. We can make that happen. <laughs> that is that is like low key my fantasy. So, well, Zach, you know what you got to do: set yeah. the table up, set the music up, and just come in here and not be yourself. Because it's me, she won't want it. No, because <laughs> it's you. I want it. Like th- that's not the fantasy. The fantasy is me going to get a massage and being like, "Oh my god, yeah. what is happening?" Like, like they're Are just you? giving me a normal massage, and then all of a sudden then, turns boop, freaky, tickling your fancy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the fantasy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I got to get off this podcast. I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> All right, anyways. What if we have a listener here that's a massage and like, oh, <laughs> starts running ass there? Yeah, like, for <laughs> real. <laughs> hey, wow, that's let me know. Yeah. Hop into my DM. <laughs> All right. So while you you getting your therapy and getting stuff off your chest, letting us know your fantasies, we're going to do a, a podcast check in just like how they do on uh, I Am Athlete. How is everybody doing mentally? How is everyone doing physically? One to ten. And how is everyone doing business? <laughs> business wise, how's that? How's it work? How's it work doing? I, I don't so, want to go first. I've been talking this whole time. All right, Phil, you want to go? All right, mental is like a five. Physical is like a four. And then business is like a seven. I'm like hey. making money this year, so that's cool. I mean, okay. look at the trip. <laughs> okay. So, but everything else kind of trash. Like, I'm just tired of work. It's work a lot. My I brain, hear you, like, bro. My, I just wake up and I'm like at PTSD. I'm at to the point now. I kind of want to go into the office because I, I think I need a new scene, yeah. like Aww. a new setup. Yeah. And then um, my fitness is trash because I'm just being lazy. Yeah. And it's kind of hard to get out my fat funk. Got you. But I keep looking in the mirror and I'm looking worse. Aww. Yeah. 
but my wee wee still works. So. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> my wee wee still works. Don't worry, everyone. But yeah, that's how I'm at. Yeah, I think I feel like I'm probably similar. I'm trying to start get back in shape again. I was like doing it decently, <laughs> and it fell off kind of around my birthday. But uh, I feel like you've already you slimmed out a that's lot. That's what I've been telling AJ. AJ, you've AJ lost a lot of weight. I mean, a little bit in the past two weeks, not the first oh, okay. time, but yeah. But um, well, it's been consistently like falling off. Yeah, kind of not in the best way yet though. So <laughs> we're gonna yeah. get there. But um, yeah, and then work is work is eh. Yeah. And and everything yeah, just like just chilling. How about you? Uh, I mean, this week, mentally, probably like four. Oh, jeez. <laughs> uh, physically. This is not the silly goose time. Oh, to <laughs> physically, always eight, eight through ten. I'll say. Um, physically, I, I feel good, but in the mirror, it's not quite. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 I was, I always want to. Yeah. yeah, I always want to have good. that six pack. <laughs> like, I've been, also made muffins. Yeah, Tatiana have been making sweets a lot. I wanted to talk about that, but I know Phil needs a, a quick pod, so we won't spend too much time on that. And then work wise, I will say, is like an eight right now, but that's probably why my mental is so trash. Like work's busy between the full time job and the basketball, but it's it's been stressful as fuck. Mm. What about you? Mentally, I'd say four. But my me- my base, I'm never at a ten. <laughs> I'm I'm always pretty low. Yeah. But I've just been mentally. I've just been tired. Like I come home and I'm just like, ugh. Yeah. I just want to watch anime. Yeah. I just want to come home and veg out. But I know I gotta take care of Cope Cope, so he comes first. And then I also made more muffins because I saw that it made Zach happy, and so that's Thank nice. You. So you I know what else s- makes Zach happy? Well, I made a muffin. Even more than muffins. <laughs> I don't know. You were really Different muffin kind cheeks. You were kind of muffin. <laughs> <laughs> you were jizzing over the muffins I made. Yeah, but I'd rather actually jizz. Muffin so. no in. I also, it wasn't really Jesus ideal Christ. this week. So yeah, that's true. Anyways, so did you say work? No, I all, I'm at my mental oh, right okay. now. So yeah, that's why I was a four mentally, <laughs> and then what is it? Work. Work yeah. is. Someone on the phone gave me lip the other day. Mm. That was annoying. I'd say work is, I feel like that knocked it down. Seven. Work is a seven. That lady giving me mouth really knocked it down. And then what is it? Uh, My body? Yeah, physically. Physically, I feel five. I kind of, I skipped a workout this week. Okay. Um, And then... Staying on the the personal notes, do we have any goals for for the rest of the year, or anything that you want to achieve? Get married, and have fun. But that wouldn't be this year, though. For us, get the money to get married. Yes, <laughs> we're we're in the same boat. <laughs> that's that's all it is for me. We gotta pay two thousand dollars for flowers. Flowers alone, <laughs> stupid as shit. Two racks of flowers. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I would have took them shits. I would rob someplace. <laughs> we can't you. rob it today, though. We got to rob it the day of our wedding. Yeah, in like that case. Bonnie and Clyde up until the, you guys kiss. Yes. <laughs> you just saw me at 2 o'clock at, uh, what do you call them places that the girl a lot of flowers and shit? Like nursery. Yeah. Nurseries, yeah. I would have been yeah. in nurseries with a ski mask on, like, like this. <laughs> the day of the <laughs> wedding. Yeah, especially where we at. It might, like, if there's you go a little, yeah, yeah, there's a bunch over here. Bro, I'm out, I'm, out, I'm out here old school with yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> But you was you were stealing flowers, man. They expensive. Yeah. Uh, my my uh, end of the quarter goals for this year is just um, what is it? Fitness. It's like my main. It's really just trying to get a schedule. Okay. He's working. Trying on to his be fitness. consistent. Yeah. It's so hard because I work like fifty five hours a week. Yeah. And Jeez, even when bro. I get caught up, I still I'm like still behind. And that's crazy because I feel like Jeez. you being able to work from home would make it easier to do this so that's no, just it's harder crazy. because yeah. um studies show that you work more from home okay. well like yeah you because you're because not you don't have the commute yeah yeah, yeah. so yeah. you sit there longer so i'll be i'll be sitting down from like 7 38 to like 6 37 so yeah. now i'm trying to like get in the habit of like telling myself to leave by six 
That way I can just go train. But then I get off the computer and I'm like, it's a kickboxing class every night at 8.15. And I'm like, yeah. I don't want to go to kickboxing right got now. Got you, got And you. then get home at 10 o'clock and then just go straight to sleep and wake yeah, up. Yeah, and do it again. Yeah. That's why I skipped my workout because, like, same thing. I was just like, I, I don't want to do that. And then I'm going to come home and just go to bed. I have no, yeah, time No, No me time. No yeah. anime time. It's anime weird because when I go to training, I miss it. So it's like it's this yeah. funky balance of I want to do it, but in the moment I just find a distraction or I find a reason not to go. Getting there but then is when the I hardest go, part. I'm like, yeah. oh, I'm glad I came. Yeah. Aww. Yeah. I hope that gets better for you. Me too. I, I, I I'm getting fat. <laughs> my girlfriend don't look at me the same no more. Well, I don't think you're getting fat. I get it. It's fat. not. Well, I'm full Teddy Graham now. Like it's oh, bad. The Teddy well, why don't you start running That's again? Favorite, like though. when you were training I for that. I told the... you I never want to run again in my life. Really? Really? Yeah. yeah. Would, you would never do another one of those? No, I was gonna try to run a five K every day and then I thought of, I thought about How it and I think that's it? a terrible it's idea. Like it's three point two. Yeah. Oh okay. I was gonna do that for thirty days because I'm an extremist, so I have to do like something really extreme to get back in shape. I just yeah. can never ease my way into something. Yeah, it's either yeah. I'm all the way in or I'm not in at all. Gotta what find if balance. you what if yeah, what if you try to find a balance so you're not as stressed out and everything about working out? <laughs> we can go to therapy and work it out. I don't want to go to therapy. Okay. If I go to therapy, my only when you're ready. Crazy. Only, only when you're <laughs> ready. <laughs> I'm not going to push it on you. Only when you're ready. So <laughs> what about you, AJ? Uh, well, I don't even remember what the question was. Uh, <laughs> goals for the for the rest of the year. Over oh, the rest of the year. Um, I don't know. Maybe try to get a spot. <gasps> Ooh. Get a what? Oh, get a yeah, spot. Yeah. Me and Nick were, were looking to oh, try yeah, to get like, yeah. a duplex or something like that. That warms my heart. Yeah. So, yeah uh, down here? Do that. Um. Yeah. We're would you rent? Would everyone. you guys be roommates or and rent out the next door, or would you? Yeah. Like both that. be living separately. Well, I mean, he might just stay up there still, and then we would just like Airbnb one side out, maybe, and then. What if me and Zach? Only one person had to be a resident what if me and year? Zach rented from you in the second part? I'd would be you down with that? I don't care. <laughs> would yeah. you let us have animals? All the animals we want. Yeah. Okay. I mean, like, I don't want me to tell you not to have Kobe. <laughs> <laughs> well, I Zach. We're having three dogs now. So, mm-hmm. <laughs> Danny's thinking about buying next year. She probably's gonna buy next year. Really? <gasps> I'm so happy for everyone. Mm-hmm. Good shit. Good shit. God. Love to hear it. Yes. Hopefully, we inspire the people out there. We love to hear your guys' stories. I, I say this like every other podcast. I feel like not every other, but every several podcasts. I wish y'all would engage with us more. I know y'all seeing our stuff. Um, you comment sometimes, but we want to hear y'all thoughts, y'all opinions on certain podcasts. I know you text us here and there, but put it on, put it on Instagram, put it on Twitter. Spark a conversation because yeah. y'all know y'all don't agree with half the shit I exactly. say. It's okay to tell me. <laughs> yeah, that's true. But it's also because like some of you guys don't know, like obviously some listeners don't know all the other listeners. You guys could become friends. Yeah, Who exactly. Knows? Mm-hmm. Internet exactly. friends. I have a bunch of internet friends and I... And I root them on too, like they're my actual friends. Facts, facts. Um, so we talked about wedding. Um, the next topic is a photographer. He was at a wedding shooting for some friends or some. I don't know if he was just a hired photographer, but he <laughs> is Kobe chewing a lot of shit. He is. I can't tell if I can hear it a lot or not. <laughs> um, He's munching. If you guys can hear that, our yeah. dog, my dog's munching. He's just shaking the floor. That's yeah, like. exactly. <laughs> Um, but the, the wedding party, they did not plan on feeding the photographer. So he ended up deleting all the photos. Um, I heard that details to the story is he was a guest at the wedding or originally, and then something mm-hmm. happened. And so he was like, I'll do you guys a favor and I will wait. But if he was a guest at the wedding, why would he not get fed? exactly so he was originally a guest and so then something i think something oh. happened with the photography and so he was like okay i'll do you guys a favor and so then they're like well you're the photographer so we don't have to feed you and then he was like oh well fuck you guys and deleted everything okay so i thought you were That's saying what I heard. he yeah. was a guest like currently at the wedding and then something happened, and then he was mm-hmm. just like oh i'll do it I well it might have been that too i don't know i didn't but really if that's the case he's just 
which is even more yeah, wild either way, why yeah. he should have deleted the no, photos. Yeah, no matter what, he was in. He should have been fed. Hey, yeah. to delete the photos, that's extreme petty. No, I. I that's would do that. hilarious. <laughs> I, that is. It's I extreme love petty, that. but do you do you think he's wrong for that? No, no, no. I would. I mean, I would. I probably would have just like not ever given them the photo. I don't know if I would have deleted them because yeah. I would have wanted them. What are you gonna do with them? Hold them hostage. I'll hold them and then be yeah. like, "Yo, if you want them, since y'all niggas didn't feed me, I'm charging three <laughs> times the price." <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, I guess. Because if I delete him, I can never get nothing from it. So if I, but if I take some fire ass pictures, and then well, I can even like, if I can like shitty. post a teaser, and be like, damn, I took these great photos, and they'll never get them from it. Yeah, and put a proof over <laughs> it. Like, <laughs> yeah, feels for real. Like I just, te- yeah. I just tease him and be like, y'all could get them. <laughs> it should right be the the same uh, like Photoshop head watermark. that Luke did that I put on all the fill clips. <laughs> <laughs> that's what Phil should put on all the photos. But now that's messed up. Like that's shitty. Why would you not feed a person and they take a picture exactly. of your wedding? But even like and the th- so when we met with the wedding planner and she was kind of like telling us about the different vendors or whatnot, uh, or not vendors, but like the contracted employees such as photographers she's like make sure you you feed them or like budget out to feed them and in my head i was like that wasn't even like a thought not to feed them like yeah. of course everyone eats but but also i don't know if that like some people just are rude as fuck like yeah. but i like when people come into our place like i make sure like i'm like go into our fridge like do whatever you want like that's respectful like i don't care like my house is your house so no matter what if someone even looks hungry, I'm feeding them. So, like, I would never, like, we just aren't those type of people. Yeah. But, like, I just don't see how anyone could say, like, if anyone was like, hey, I'm hungry and I have all this food and I'm just like, sorry. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. That sucks. Sucks yeah. to suck. Hi, hungry. I, I'm the bride. Like, <laughs> what do you mean? That's exactly. so rude. Like, you're just a shitty person. They exactly. deserved it. Best it. that they won't be shitty no more. It's like the Kim K meme, like it's what they deserve. I don't think I've seen that meme. It's, uh, it's Me an amazing meme. I need more girls here. All right, so I'm assuming Mimi told you this, Phil. She wanted us to, I guess, tell, expose ourselves, and say our heights. Why did she? No, wanna... she didn't tell me that actually. <gasps> oh, she, yeah, so she, she said told this. Me. Yeah. Oh, okay, <laughs> but she, I thought she usually. S- sends it to both of us. That's no, right. she doesn't send it to me because I never actually say it. So she sends it exclusively to AJ and don't tell me. But we got into an argument about height. Yeah. What, what was Because she swears she's taller than me. Yeah. And I'm like, you're not. I'm five, eight and a half, five, yeah. nine. I'm like, I'm five, nine. She's like, well, I'm taller than Luke. And I'm like, well, me and Luke is the same height. She's like, well, I'm taller than Luke, then I'm taller than you if you and Luke the same height. And yeah. I go, but you're not five, eight. So how are you taller than me? Yeah. I was like, she was like, she's five seven. I was like, at minimum. Then, there, five, then she can't be taller than Luke, yeah. unless Luke had. I do think Luke had a mini growth spurt, because oh, <laughs> <laughs> Luke, me and him measured e- each other. No, like, he just always wears those shoes. That is true, but no, we Tasha when we were at her house one time, we stood back to back, and she was like, Luke actually might be slightly taller, which there's no way, but um, me and Luke are like the same height. And I don't think Wait, that's always been the case. No, it hasn't. Luke's always been short. Exactly. So th- I'm saying I think Luke had a mini growth spurt. I think it's the shoes. That man's and always he, in those we were, shoes. We were both shoeless. Yeah. Me and him uh-huh. are like pretty much just like yeah. I'm five nine. We're about the same height. But yeah, if Mimi is saying she's five seven, there's no. I way. I was like, ain't no way. And she was like, oh, all guys lie about their height. Yeah. yeah she and I was like, I'm stuff. five nine. She's like, so you're really five seven? I was like, Stop <laughs> but you also literally just said I'm five eight and a half. I'm five nine. I'm five like, eight and a half, five nine. Like I'm in there. But like, you're but you're sticking with the five nine. <laughs> yeah. You're I'm not five, nine. saying I'm five eight. And a half. Yeah. I could be five eight and a half. I don't know for sure. But then you also don't know for sure if you're he five could nine. Be, well, he could That's be. That's why I said well, at minimum. Nine, so. I said at minimum I'm five eight. I know for a fact at minimum I'm five eight, which would still make me taller than her. And she just I'm but, like. But but you're proving her point though by not sticking with I'm five eight. If you know for a fact you're at minimum five eight, you might as well. Well, no, it's five, eight and it's a half. changed. And football is listed at five nine. And then, but and I I'm haven't saying, gotten measured since. All I'm saying is you proved her point by sticking with the five nine one and not five eight and a half. Her point was that she's taller than me. No, you said that she claims that men always round up, and you round well, up. that's what women think. Round, but our initial it. argument was that she's taller than me, oh. and I was like, I'm well, just saying you proved her right with that. Argument. Well, I've never well, met her in person. She wanted us to get so tape measured, measure ourselves, <laughs> 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 and then I read it back on the pod. Measured. 
Uh, well, I'm not measuring I'm six myself. two, so that's that's all that. If matters. I was gonna lie about my height, I'd say five ten. I'm five foot one. Mimi, you just gonna have to believe us all, and that you're not. How tall is AJ? Six. I'm like six, we we six, this, one, six, we the same height. There. We six two. You said six one. I said I'm six two, and then I said me and AJ the same height. We six two. You're five nine. I'm not five nine. <laughs> <laughs> your because the lady at the place didn't listen to me. Mm-hmm. I you told taller than me? I'm f- yeah, barely. Okay, I'm so five ten. Then I'll be probably ladies. Five nine. His license says five nine. Okay, I literally said I'm five ten, and she puts five nine. Like she didn't measure me. Like, then she tried. Yeah. To. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah, there's no she way. Said, okay, <laughs> little boy. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, men always give themselves an extra height. Oh, she goes, there's age. no way. <laughs> Nine. Dang, so she I guess women know that rule universally. Well yeah, it is a universal rule. It's a stereotype that men have. I guess. Wait, but Tati, I'm, turn the turn the mic. You spun it around. Oh did I? I'm sorry. I'm five ten. This one? Yeah. Okay. I was sorry. like, why can't I hear her? I'm sorry. Alright, next on the list, Yeezy. Um he started uh, the he's been working with Gap. Um that's been something in the works for a minute. But the the supplies are the the purchases people have made have started shipping and i mean they look fresh it's basic it's a basic hoodie and then he has the puffy jacket that he wore during the the live concerts or album listening parties but the shit looks dope um do y'all know how much the the hoodies cost i think mm. it's going for like mm. two maybe 200 i didn't even maybe know about one, it looks like one something or two i'm not sure but my homie got them oh did like, he he bought one and we were talking about him and uh he hasn't it hasn't shipped yet but He's excited about it. Yeah. I just want the mask for no reason. Is he also selling the mask at Gap? Nah. Oh, okay. I don't think that's what I want one of the... I would have no reason, especially now that I live in Florida, to wear the puffy jacket, but the puffy jacket is just so clean to me. We could uh, go to Michigan in the wintertime just to say, so you could wear yeah. it. I literally just want the mask so I could wear it in public. <laughs> yeah. not see my face and just be yeah. chill. Wait, what mask? Oh, the... the yeah. The, the, the yeah. <laughs> but yeah, you don't miss... People, and it's so annoying because I feel like every time Kanye does something, um, well, one, music-wise, but two, also when he sells any type of apparel, people are always like, oh, my God, this is so ugly, da 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 but then everybody's buying it. Like, all the, the same people that's mm-hmm. like, oh, my God, this is ugly is the same people that's ending up buying well, that shit. Well, your haters are your biggest supporters. I guess. They're just hype beasts. Them. That's majority of people, though. Yeah. So I know we said we're not doing Christmas gifts, but if you choose to buy me a Christmas gift this year, it's a puffy jacket. Yeah, get me the. I'm gonna be outside in 90 degree weather wearing my puffy jacket. <laughs> <laughs> Men's not up. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Men's not up. Yeah. Bumping Donda every single Donda, day. Donda, 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 Donda. Yeah. Donda. Good to know. Um. Oh, this is something I forgot to delete off the last list, but we can move on to get it off your chest. Anything y'all got to get off your chest this week? Nah, not this week. I've been chilling, just working. Okay. So one thing I want to get off my chest is I absolutely hate seeing people litter. Like it irks Aww. my soul. <laughs> yeah. I'm not even like super environmentalist guy, but just seeing like why. I, when I, especially when I see people just like dump shit out their car. Oh, I hate that. Sometimes it's easier. No, it's <laughs> not, <laughs> bro. Oh, you can't I'm not be, saying I do. Not I'm just today. justifying it. Okay, you can't be it. vegan and that's what I'm saying. And litter guy. I don't litter. I'm, <laughs> but you can't I, be vegan you, and then pro litter. Yeah, just, no, but I think that's what that would be the easiest. That would be the quickest response from somebody vegan. that actually litters would be like, I just feel like it's easy to just drop it out the car. Obviously, it's easier, but. It's also easier, like, when you have to poop to just drop your pants and poop wherever you want. That's easier. But you have can't you do it. Have you seen me when I have to pee? Have you seen me when I have to pee? That oh is very goodness. true. Then I you're going to be a sex anywhere. offender on the list nah, if you show if you your junk caught. in public. Nah, you will, but you won't. You got to know how to pee in public. Yeah. But the other thing is um, littering in your own community or, like, and when I say community, I don't just mean like, like your your neighborhood, oh. but like your your hood or whatever yeah, you want to call yeah, it. Yeah. yeah, like why would you want to dirty up where you stay at? And what I see it all the time again, but what I saw today was I drive into the neighborhood. A lady was leaving the office, literally just throws like a tissue, piece of paper, whatever, like into the bush. And at first, I thought she was like a guest. Maybe she was just looking for release or something like that. But as soon as I park my car, I see her, and I'm like, yo. 
you if you live here because she did live here why are you you should have picked it up out the tree and put it on her car and nothing i should have don't should have put bitch. it in front of her front door so I she could stop littering whore but yeah. but yeah that makes sense like that just makes our neighborhood look shitty exactly why would you want to live at somewhere where it's shitty i don't wow. be letting her. i just i actually just throw stuff in my car and then when it piles up i take it to exactly my, take it to, my, take it exactly. to the track yeah. instead of littering i bought it up and put it in my cup holder yeah so don't litter don't be a litter bug pick up after yourself mm-hmm. i'm gonna start snitching so y'all could get a 500 hundred dollar fine or how much uh, that fine is for littering no because we don't pick up kobe's poop all the time uh, that's different that's Natural. different yeah that's it, it helps it helps the grass grow yeah, that's, fertilizer. that's different and like littering things that decompose like yeah. all right that's like if you throw a banana peel or like an yeah. orange peel like that's fine whatever apple core the animals gonna eat that yeah, exactly that's true. gonna get returned to the earth and that's gonna but like so rappers yeah. yeah yeah exactly pick up after yourself people Be stop adults. it get some get help, help. <laughs> um all right moving on uh streaming go ahead phil this all you Chappelle. yes came out with a, a netflix special it was fantastic you know i love Chappelle. y'all know i love Chappelle. yeah it was fire bro like i think this one was the uh, of the last couple ones this one's probably the funny one of the funnier ones um, and I just think the storytelling was amazing, bro. So I agree. It definitely was. There's I didn't, so much truth in it. <laughs> yeah. So much. I didn't read Luke's response because I didn't want it to... Cloud your judgment. Y- yeah, even though I had already watched it. Um, but I do agree it's the funniest one. and that's Out the, of all of them? Not No, out of the more recent okay. ones. Okay, yeah, the more recent ones, yeah. So you said it is the funnier one, but do you like it more than the more recent ones? um yeah i'll probably go back and watch. i I mean i watched all of them like at least twice so i'm definitely gonna watch this one again just see if i miss some stuff um but it was just so good bro. see i'm surprised i I definitely thought you was gonna be in here and be like oh it was all right because i feel like you and me can never agree and i i i i I was cracking up and i told you the part i enjoyed was the uh the the transgender box joke that's because i see i didn't read i didn't read any of your Oh yeah, because I'm a vegan. So like when he said when he oh my god when he equated like <laughs> the vegan the, the and the like the, when he equated the transgender genitalia to like impossible and beyond yeah, meat, yeah, yeah, yeah. I lost it. And he was like, "Yeah, that ain't blood. That's beet juice." <laughs> <laughs> I beet lost juice. it because I because like I can relate. It's so because it's not real meat. Yeah, like and they was like, "Oh well," and it's like, "Oh well." If you vegan, why you want stuff to taste like meat? Yeah. And it's like, well, we just want the flavor. We don't want the the, the harm. Exactly. So it just made it that much more funnier to me because I've never heard a comedian put it like that. And it's true. Yeah. Yeah. Which yeah. makes it even more funny because it is true. No matter how much you construct it, it'll never be natural. Exactly. So when we talked about Chappelle's special like a while ago, I was like, uh, He's he's more so being like super deep, introspective, um, and all this stuff, and it's not as much funny. Which I was like, I miss the old Chappelle. As soon as I turned this on, I'm like, yo, this this reminds me of like killing him softly, Chappelle. Mm-hmm. Like he's being funny, funny. Yeah, there were parts where he got deep, but even like in the beginning, one of the earliest jokes that like made me like laugh out loud laughing was when and molestation is not funny but when he was talking about being molested and he was <laughs> yes. like and i came on the guy's face he asked for it bro that shit <laughs> i, I don't died, know because i was not expecting I that i was not expecting that at all and that <laughs> shit had me fucking he die like, he was like i loved it <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that sounds like because i i didn't watch the the special but that just sounds like a joke that would have been in like the early 2000s yeah exactly mm-hmm. and in a couple of, so I don't know if you've seen, because I know you've been kind of off of social media as of late, but of course, same as the last few specials, Dave Chappelle's been getting a lot of heat and pushback from the transgender uh, community, and this one, once again, he's getting a lot of heat from the transgender community, where he even addresses, his point is, he's just saying, and I forget the point, but he, he's not shitting on the transgender community. He's just kind of car- comparing it to like the black yeah. uh, struggle and their struggle. So, I, But he's I don't, also yeah. counterculture and he's yeah. saying that from a black man's perspective, right? Yeah. Because LGBT is ran by predominantly white men, Yeah, they progress a lot faster than the black struggle. Yeah. And that all boils down to intrinsic racism. Yeah. Like, so even if it's a, our struggle, 
versus it's almost like our struggle versus your struggle because even in his and he's saying he's pointing out the hypocrisy in the LGBT movement because he's saying like y'all are wanting for um like equal rights for LGBT members yeah. but then y'all also shit on those same members and black people don't have a voice in that movement yeah yeah and I that mean, should be a place where black people have a voice too yeah. mm -hmm. and they don't yeah. which is hilarious well and and like the way he put it is hilarious and um mm -hmm. even at the end when he was t talking about how the transgender um how he befriended a transgender yeah and like the trans community had a canceled her because <laughs> a transgender woman <laughs> yeah that sounded that sounded know. wild <laughs> yeah. but we knew what you meant but um so sh really? she stuck up for dave Chappelle and yeah. they canceled her and then she committed suicide yeah Aww, and what cracked me up bro and he was like you know he started i started a fun for her um her I started a fund for her child. Yeah, he's like, like your like, dad was a great woman. Yeah, <laughs> bro, I lost it. <laughs> I lost it. But that, but that's like the hypocrisy in it all. It's yeah. like y'all preach for inclusivity and equality, but the minute someone says something y'all don't agree with, it's get rid of them forever. Yeah. yeah. No, but it also makes sense, like, because I listened to the read, and I got. Um, like I, I got bored and started listening to like their old episodes and like even like back then they were talking about like because Kid Fury obviously he's a well, black. I, I don't think they listen. To oh, them. he's a he, he's days. a he's a black he's a black gay male. So right? it's a podcast two yeah. people a black woman and a black gay guy. Yeah, and so and the woman she's a lesbian. Yeah, and oh, so yeah, I forgot about that. she they he was talking about how like even in the gay community. Like it's always it's all ran by the white gays and that like how there's like it's like always about all the white gays, all the pride thing. It's all centered around like the white gays and like the white experience. Okay. Yeah. And they feel like the black experience never really gets shown in the gay community either. And so it's just like an added struggle on top of it. Like, yes, I we're, mean, I would say yes, that the we're gay, but like. I'm also I'm still black and like I'm yeah. still not being heard like I would say that the black ex the black gay experience is shown it's just again and we, we talked about cultural appropriation oh, like yeah. a lot of the white gays act like the black gays or black women or whatever it is um and a lot of the slang gets taken and they by get, the yeah. yeah they get like like ru like the RuPaul Ru Paul's drag race like I don't I don't watch that <laughs> I don't watch that, just but wait, just wait, because <laughs> it's like loud. Oh, I'm sorry. It up. <laughs> you can just like cut yeah. it. Yeah. Like Rue Paul's Drag Race. I don't watch that, but like I heard, it's like I don't know. I heard something because like Rue Rue Paul, he's black, right? Yeah. But like I guess like all the winners tend to be white, and mm -hmm. it's like really skewed into like. Like black people rarely win on mm. on there, so it's like another thing. Like with it's there's a black experience and yeah. a white gay experience, so I don't know exactly. And I also think that in his special, right? Because like when he says, you know, gender is a fact, there's like a big controversy over that, and um, and I think he's coming from a straight male's perspective, and most straight men would consider whether it's fact or not what makes a woman a woman they associate with genitalia yeah. their parts so even if a transgender woman has the part because she wasn't born with it most straight men would be like eh, we'll call her a woman but to us yeah. she's probably not a woman like we wouldn't like you know what i'm saying like i'll call you yeah. a woman but in my mind you're not a woman but i get it we got to be politically correct type deal so i think they attacked him for that and it, and like he, I mean, he's sticking up for his homies. Yeah, I, don't, I can't knock you for that. So, if you haven't watched this special, go ahead and watch it. It's called the, the closer. closer. Yeah, I was gonna say the Punisher, but yes, the closer. Punisher. Go ahead and watch and it. And he's trying to get canceled, and he's proven that you can't get canceled. I don't think he's trying to get canceled. Well, no, he says it because he's counter because yeah. he's can, he he's counter cancel culture. He said that so, in the special. Yeah, he's like, oh, they're gonna try to get me after this. Well, yeah, I think that's just him. Oh, yeah, I think the battery's dead. Oh, okay. Um, we can pause for like two seconds. <laughs> All right, so another uh, 
thing that I got recommended for actually you to watch is by one of my homies, Matt. It was one of my old students at Cincinnati. Hi, Matt. Shout out, Matt. Why did my camera open Wait, he up? recommended I watch it? Yeah, it's a documentary. It's called League of Denial uh, and then semicolon, the NFL's con- concussion crisis. Um, obviously, after you, Luke, and all of us got into that debate about the NFL policies, he said it's a really good documentary. He had to watch it in one of his, his classes, and you know is that you like documentaries. Do love a good documentary? Yeah, it's, send me that. Just text it to me. Okay, I got you. It's on YouTube, so I got to check it out too. <gasps> I told him I'd watch it. Yeah. Hey, shout out to Mac. Yeah. I be, I be, I be diving into like I watch a lot of um, lectures and yeah stuff on youtube so i like a good youtube documentary now i got my apple tv set up i can yeah. just p- stream it straight today shout out matt yeah matt matt cool as shit um luke is the only person that's met him um uh, but, who am i oh well yeah you too uh. but i'm saying out of them too uh but out matt, of the pod members i'm a pod member yeah now. i'm saying but then not too. all the way let's not get carried away but matt oh, thinks you're here. matt <laughs> thinks you're funny as shit bro who? Like Which one? Phil, because oh. real <laughs> recognize real. <laughs> <laughs> that is very true. Um, but anything else, y'all? Stream? Did you finish Squid Game, AJ? I just started. Oh, so AJ finish it. I just started, and I wasn't even gonna start it. And then Danny started watching so it when good. I was there, and I was like, she just trapped me. It's, yeah. It's, and then I watched, and I was like, all right, now I gotta finish it. Yeah, you it's got live to, action anime. You got to. Bro. It was cool. So like the first. Wait, episode. you finished it? No, no we uh, on um we on episode two where they go back. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I fuck was like, with it's it. cool. I yeah. fuck with it. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like, like. Spoilers. So, no spoilers, and I didn't say this last time with you and Gabe there, and I told Tatiana this, but the, the colors in the show, like, during certain scenes, um, it, the colors are just beautiful to me, and I just love the music in the entire series. Yeah. Like, all yeah. the music is, is fire to me. But that's how most anime is babe. okay stop trying to convince me <laughs> I'm really, because trying to get you in this cosplay well it's the soon. most streamed show ever on netflix yeah is it now it was on pace i don't know if it i think i'm pretty sure it's gonna pass it yeah. okay if it hasn't already but i thought yeah. it already did once you guys finish it it will be the most streamed. I wonder if <laughs> it's it, waiting did, on did you it guys. open in like asian like korea and china and japan first? so i think it came out everywhere at the same time i don't think it came out in korea first and then made its way here i think it just came out everywhere they just came out with a drop they're like, i mean that's here. good marketing every i mean based on just population alone if the asian culture drops some heat they're always gonna have the more stream just because yeah. they got the numbers yeah and they be tapped in but they when they they just know how to make good shit well that and they also just be tapped in because they don't get that they don't get the looks that america get like they don't get the opportunities so like crazy rich asians did hella numbers because it was the because you're now having full shows and episodes of promoting asian people Mm -hmm. so now they're getting the their representation representation in western world western world so of course they can they already got they already got they shit popping so now you're putting on other asian people in what the western hemisphere exactly and i'm all for it i'm an honorary korean so east you mean east east of the of the globe of the was it what are you, it's west right no we're no, considered we're like west. the western we're the west. hemisphere or whatever yeah we're we're like the, the western, western world that's what they call yes. us oh i thought you were saying that, that was the no. western uh, no, no. My best. no. Yeah. i was like because I, I i only remember that because you east coast i fly east coast <laughs> off of how high yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah i just know because in anime they always say oh the western culture yeah, yeah just so, so i know yeah. that's and us. then the west indies of course is the the yeah. caribbean but anyways, uh, if you guys have nothing else for streaming, we could quickly talk about music. Um, we don't have too much, so don't get mad, Tatiana. But Meek Mill, he dropped a project. Who put this on the list? You did? I did. See if anybody listened to it. I listened to maybe half of it. And speaking of Matt, uh, that's the reason he texted me in the first place. I, I just, I'm not a huge Meek fan. Um, I listened to it, but I was listening to it during a workout, and I just, eh, it, it was cool. It wasn't like blowing me out the water and it definitely didn't have me motivated during my workouts so i just started listening it let me down i, I thought i, I thought he's come back because champion championships was amazing i yeah. listen i still listen to championships yeah a lot of songs not all of them because you know meek is like drake yeah they put a lot of good songs together but like when meek is in his grimy gutter bag yeah. like redemption story bag but from a hood point of view it's my favorite meek yeah you only got that like once or twice and then he didn't like expensive pain was cool um, but it wasn't championships. Yeah. And I, I was I was hoping for something like championships. But I mean he's richer now, so he's not Yeah. He don't have that like his his struggle is different. It ain't well, like locked up pain. struggle. Yeah. yeah. It's expensive pain. 
Uh, the only song that I heard that I liked was the song with him and Uzi. That song was dope. Mm. You didn't outside. like the one he dropped with uh, Lil Durk and Lil Baby? Nah, not really. All right. So last. Oh, the next thing I have was Silk Sonic. They released when they're finally dropping this album. It's coming out November 12th. I'm excited. So, I know you excited. You. Bad, Bad, Not Good just dropped a new album, too. Bad, Bad, Not Good. Okay. Nice, nice. Um, an artist that I've been listening to, Faruko. Uh, I don't know. Just his, his album is dope to me. You like Faruko? Yeah. He had a song. He has a song with uh, Kimani Marley that's really good. Okay. It's like an older song, but it's so good because gotcha. it's like a good fusion of reggae. Yeah. And like uh, Latin. Like, yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. Like, and it's funny because obviously we live in like the super Hispanic side of Miami, so I keep seeing like bus billboards for uh the oh, album cool yeah uh last but not least we have sports so Kyrie and the vax what's our thoughts on that he's refusing to get back he gonna cave you think you think so yeah i actually think he gonna be one of the people that's not him and uh isaac uh jonathan isaac are gonna be like the two people that so, wiggins already caved you know what's yeah, gonna wiggins happen cave. he's he's not gonna cave and then in 20 years, when there's more data, information, and science behind this, he's going to sue them, and he's going to get that money back. You think? Yeah, when because when it comes, like, I mean, and just the way they're doing it is kind of not fair from, like, a team's, because it, it's based on local government. Yeah. So a player that is visiting from, like, the Houston Rockets yeah. can play a home game there if he's not vaccinated because his local rules are a little bit different. Yeah. So there's that kind of, like, a, a not hypocrisy, That's but not hypocrisy. it's not consistency yeah. across the board for at least the league in general. Yeah. So I don't know. And then people are still the people who are vaccinated are still catching the virus. So that's not gonna help their their case or whatever. So I don't know. He's either Seems like cave, he might not do it. He's either gonna cave or get traded. And then when K D don't win the ring and LeBron and them win it this year. They be like, then you oh, think Katie's cause, gonna sue him too? It's cause it's cause Kyrie didn't take the vax. If Kyrie yeah. was on that team, they would have beat him. There'd be another excuse for like when LeBron wins. Yeah, I think he'll get traded before he uh before he caves. I don't think he'll cave. Kyrie just. Or I I don't even know. If, you also I think don't they might, really like Kyrie. Yeah, I, I don't say, even know if they're gonna so. trade him, but they might just change. He might be put enough pressure for them to change or really look at the policies yeah. and see what. No, I don't think they're changing the policy at this point because at most 95% of the league is vaccinated. Right. You're not going to change it for Kyrie. Yeah. And exactly. LeBron's vaccinated, and that's the face of the NBA. Exactly. No, well, not that they're changing it for Kyrie, but because legally, if they were challenged on it, then they wouldn't they wouldn't yeah. win that. That's why I say they change it. They might just like look at the technicalities in it. Like how much money they're going to lose in the long run. I like, guess like, like how, if they get like yeah. sued or something. or just or just like the risk because yeah. I don't even think they think of like f- how what the future cost is going to be, but just the risk mm-hmm. they're weighing. But didn't Biden mandate if you have a um a company with over 100 employees, you have to either do the vax that I'm not you sure can mandate the vax or um that you have to get tested every week or something like that. Oh, but I don't think they'll change it because I think if it was maybe LeBron like the faces of the league. LeBron, Katie, Giannis, and they're like, no, nah, I'm not putting that shit in my body. Then yeah. the NBA look at it. It's Kyrie. He's a he's box office, but yeah. he ain't them. He was a face, but he's, he he's ain't lost them. that a little yeah. bit. Yeah. He's box office, but he ain't the face. Yeah. So they not. And you already got your big dogs all in. All of your big dogs are all in. Nobody in the top five is not vaccinated. Yeah. Yeah, they're not changing, bro. Yeah. All right, last but not least, hate to do this to you, Phil, but just want to check up on on your on your record prediction. You said through six games, Eagles would be four and two, and currently they are one and three. Yeah. So uh, where I, I'm not trying to be funny, but like where the next so that's four games. So what do you think the next two games? You think you guys finish three and three in the first six? I thought about it. I think we beat Carolina, and I think we beat uh, I think we beat the Buccaneers. Oh my gosh! I like the wishful thinking, Phil. I like I the. I think wishful. you beat the Buccaneers. That's why he thought Tom, he was like Tom get to Brady. Too. Been, Tom Brady has been outplayed the last couple games, and I think at this point, Jalen Hurts can outplay Tom Brady if if they execute a great game plan against. And their defense is struggling All right, too. Well, the the Panthers are looking kind of decent right now. Yeah, but Christian McCaffrey's not playing this weekend. He's not. He might. He's actually but, questionable. He might play. But Samuel Darnoldton. 
is looking like the truth now that he's left. Uh, we gonna put the some pressure. Nah, I I've watched a lot of games. Yeah, and like he's he's ma- he's completing passes, but they're usually like his first or second read max. Yeah. yeah, and he'll have people like flying wide open down the field and then not throw it because it wasn't his first or second read. But right now he's <coughs> using his what his legs pretty well, and I I think he's like he's like five touchdowns. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and we also gave up forty points the last two games, so yeah. it's not even our offense is playing shitty. Because if you look at Hurts projected numbers, he do really well this year. He just looks bad because our defense is so trash right now because our linebackers yeah. are doo doo. Yeah, I didn't expect our linebackers to be this doo doo. Niggas suck. Like yeah. for real, suck. Like yeah, but I'm, I'm telling but you, Hargraves is gonna be all pro this year. I'm telling you now, Phil, y'all gonna finish one and five in the first six, bro. You think so? Yeah. What if so? What if we finish three and three? Then what? Y'all not gonna finish three. You don't think Maybe, we can beat Carolina and the Bucks? Y- y'all not beating us, first of all. We could beat y'all. Y'all okay. not that tough to beat. We can beat bro, y'all. y'all. And I will give you this that you made this prediction before y'all be smacked the Falcons, and it's not like oh you made this prediction because it's like oh we look good in game one. You you did make this prediction early, but so far y'all have only beat a shitty Falcons team. We almost beat um almost. Who do we play? Mm, Who do we you play in uh, Kansas City? So Kansas City, I'm not gonna hold that against you. We y'all. almost beat Kansas City. No. <laughs> Well, we, we was, lost by thirty. We, we no, we it wasn't thirty, but no, we was, was playing tough with them actually. No, it was close in the first half. And Y'all they, got smacked week two by who? I forget. No, we got smacked by the Cowboys. Okay, that, that was, was that was okay. Oh, so that was a gross was, one too. No, but week two, y'all looked ugly too. Maybe it was a low-scoring nah, game, but we y'all see. week two we should have won against. Um, week two we should have won against fucking. I didn't think week two was like a close game at all. No, it was close, bro. All right, well, now that the, the Panthers, Chargers? Was it the Chargers. It was it. No, we lost to San Francisco, seventeen to eleven. Okay. Mind you, yeah, yeah, yeah. we left on that in that game. We had that touchdown call back because he stepped out of bounds. Yeah, we left like fourteen points on the board. And against against Kansas and against Kansas City, we had three touchdowns called back. Yeah, three. But Kansas City's defense also wasn't that right? good. They gave up thirty. No, I'm just saying in general they have not been good this season. Like but but Chiefs, my point is, if we ha- it's like stupid penalties and holding us back. It's yeah. not like we not getting end zone. We scoring, and it'll be like illegal yeah. man down the field. So that yeah. pulls a touchdown off, and then we don't score. And then the only real smacking we got for real was the Cowboys. They yeah. smacked us, and I hated like yeah. Lindsey ain't let me live that down. <laughs> like she was on my ass, and I'm like, yeah, yo, yeah, yeah. get up out my DMs with that Cowboy talk. <laughs> I had a bunch of Cowboys fans on my yeah, ass actually. Yeah, yeah. she was but so happy when when y'all lost. I think we beat. I think we beat the Panthers, and if we beat the Panthers, I think we beat the Bucks. Well, I don't know if Stephon Gilmore will be playing or not, but. The Panthers adding Gilmore definitely. Oh, I forgot they did out Gilmore. <laughs> definitely is upsetting to me as a as a Bucks fan, and I definitely because we've been having a lot of injuries and Richard Sherman, nice pickup, but I, I do want us to get Gilmore. But I mean, our corners are fine. Slay Slay is doing. You guys well. get everybody. <laughs> yeah, that is true. Um, but that's all I got. Y'all got anything else?